We are now joined by the state's director of emergency management, Mike Sprayberry. Mike, thank you so much for calling in for us. Yes, ma'am. Just want to ask you, how is the state responding to this incident? Yes, ma'am. We coordinated uh, 35 members of uh, our Urban Search and Rescue Task Force 8 uh, to deploy. Um, that's a team comprised of firefighters from Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. We've also got um, structural engineers to provide technical advice on conducting the search in a collapsed structure. Um, so we did deploy them. We also deployed a, a regional response team for hazardous materials um, from the Raleigh area. This team arrived very early today. Um, they've already left the scene, but uh, they were looking for pockets of gas. And these are resources that we coordinate with our local partners um, to get them um, over to the scene. Uh, we want to be there to support Durham City and County. Um, we've also got a, a, a North Carolina Emergency Management branch manager and one of our area coordinators on scene as well. Mr. Sprayray, Mr. Sprayray, is there anything you could tell us about the contractor involved in this uh, explosion? No, sir. I, I don't know anything about the contractor. Are there any protocols involving evacuations when there's a, uh, there's a gas leak such as right now? Well, you know, what we would advise uh, everybody to do is to follow the orders of local officials. And so whenever um, your local fire officials, uh, law enforcement, uh, their fire marshal, when they order an evacuation, they definitely need to follow it um, because they're the folks on the scene and they're the professionals that know what they're doing. All right, that's Mike Sprayberry, the director of the North Carolina Emergency Management, joining us live. Thank you so much, Mrs. Sprayberry.